Hi, in this video, we are going to simplify the rational expression that I have written on the screen. The first step for almost all of these questions is to factor everything first. So let's factor the numerator and the denominator. For the numerator, we can factor out a GCF. The GCF of the top is 2x to the seventh. After we factor out the GCF of 2x to the seventh on top of the fraction, we are left with x to the second minus x minus 12. For the denominator, we can also factor out a GCF. The GCF on the bottom of the fraction is 4x. After factoring out the GCF of 4x on the bottom of the fraction, we are left with x to the second minus 9. We are not done factoring because now we need to factor this trinomial on top and this binomial on the bottom. To factor x squared minus x minus 12, since we have a coefficient of 1 on the x squared, all we need to do is find two numbers which multiply to equal the number at the end, the negative 12, and add to equal the number in the middle, which in this case is negative 1. Those two numbers will be negative 4 and positive 3. So the final factored form of the numerator is 2x to the seventh. Go straight to parentheses because we have a 1 in front of the x squared. 2x to the seventh times x minus 4 times x plus 3. And we could put these numbers straight in our parentheses because we had a 1 in front. We did not have to use the grouping method. To finish factoring the denominator, we should realize that x squared minus 9 is a difference of squares polynomial. x squared is x times x. 9 is 3 times 3. In the middle, we have a minus. So when we factor the difference of squares, we will have x plus 3 and x minus 3. It does not matter the order you put those two factors in. We're close to being done. So far, all we have done is factoring, but now we are actually going to simplify our rational expression. To simplify a rational expression, you will cancel common factors. That is, we look for a factor that is the same on the top and on the bottom and we will cancel them out. For this question, note that the top has an x plus 3 and the bottom also has an x plus 3 as a factor. Those x plus 3 factors will cancel out. Also, notice that you can simplify x to the seventh over x. x to the seventh over x, using your exponent rules from previous classes, will subtract those exponents, will give you x to the sixth, and since the bigger exponent is on top, 7 minus 1 is 6, x to the sixth is on top. The x minus 4 that did not cancel out stays on top. The x minus 3 that did not cancel out stays on the bottom, and now we have to look at this 2 and the 4. Well, 2 fourths You'll simplify that just like you would any other fraction. Two-fourths simplifies 
to one half. You do not need to write the one coefficient, but if you did, I don't think it would hurt anything. There we have our answer. We have simplified the rational expression. Caution, do not cancel these x's. These x's will not cancel because they are not factors. They are terms in the binomial. Do not cancel common terms. You can cancel common factors like we did here with the x plus threes because a factor is being multiplied and a multiplication and a division will cancel each other out. We cannot cancel these x's here because those are terms. They're being subtracted. A subtraction and a division don't cancel each other out. For factors like over here, the x plus three and the x plus three were multiplied, they do cancel. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.